Hey everyone, welcome back to our STEM Wednesday. My name is Katie Askelson. I am the Lakeland District Executive here at the Winnebago Council. So today we're going to be making one of my favorite experiments, which is rainbow in a jar. What's so much fun about this experiment is that we get to learn about density, but we get to see it put into action with this experiment. Now, before you do any experimentation, make sure you're asking your parents for permission first. That way they can monitor and make sure that you're not making a mess. All right, so today we're going to be learning about density. Density is the compactness of a substance or how much mass per unit volume. So mass is how much something weighs and volume is how much space it takes up. And how we are able to measure how dense something is, if something weighs a lot and takes up a little bit of space, it's gonna be more dense than something that weighs a little bit and takes up the same amount of space. So what's cool about this is that we're able to see this in our rainbow jar because the denser liquid, the lower it will be in our jar. But if it's less dense, it's actually gonna be higher up. For this experiment, we're gonna be using the same volume of liquids for every substance. But since they have different densities, we'll get to see the layers. So it's gonna be really cool. All right, let's see what ingredients we get to use for this experiment. Okay, so here's the materials that we're gonna need for this experiment. You'll need some water, food coloring, rubbing alcohol, dish soap, preferably blue, some vegetable oil or olive oil, some light syrup, or you can also use honey, a clear container or a mason jar. Mason jars work really well. Spoons, or I'm using plastic knives, as well as some measuring cups, or I'm using these little cups here. All right, so I've got my cups set out and we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour my corn syrup into my cup here. So I'm going to fill my cup all the way to the top with the corn syrup. Just like so. I'm gonna put that to the side. I've already got my water done. Next, I'm going to do my rubbing alcohol all the way to the top. Now with the rubbing alcohol, one thing I did forget to mention is you do want 91% rubbing alcohol. Um, sometimes you can find 70%, but 91% works best for this experiment. All right, that one's done. Now I'm gonna use my dish soap. Make sure you use blue dish soap. And lastly, I'm gonna use some of my Crisco vegetable oil. Like I said earlier, you can also use olive oil. That works just as well. All right, now what we gotta do is, some of these are kind of the same color, but we want to make a rainbow. So we're gonna use our food coloring so that we can see the different colors. For our corn syrup, which are gonna be our bottom layer, we're gonna make it into purple. So how you do that is you're gonna use a drop of blue, two drops of blue, and two drops of red food coloring. And you're gonna take your spoon, or you'll, if you're weird like me, you'll take your knife. And you're gonna mix it all together. Together till you get a nice purpley color like this. We're gonna set that there. Water, you're going to add the green food coloring. Again, just put one or two drops. Next is gonna be a rubbing alcohol. Do be careful with the rubbing alcohol. It is very strong, so you don't wanna be breathing in the fumes. So make sure that you have it pretty far away from you when you're doing this, or have an adult do it for you. For the rubbing alcohol, we're gonna pour some two droplets of red food coloring.
Now the next part of this, to make this easiest, we're going to put these in order of how we're going to pour it into our jar. So we're gonna pour our corn syrup first, so I'll keep that there. Then the blue dish soap. The green water. And then we're gonna pour our vegetable oil, which is a yellowish color. And finally, we're gonna pour our rubbing alcohol, which is red. And if you'll notice, they're in the order of the rainbow. All right, so the first thing we're gonna pour in is our corn syrup. Now the reason why we're pouring our corn syrup in first is that it's actually the densest, so it's gonna be our most bottom layer. So right now we got some that looks like that. Next, we're gonna pour in our blue dish soap. All right, I have you guys at a little bit better angle, and I'll shine my light through this because it's kind of hard to see. But as you can see, we got the purple layer and blue layer going right now. Next is gonna be our green water. I'm gonna pour that. This is a really good angle right here, so I'm gonna keep it here. But you can see our corn syrup, our dish soap, and our water. Next is our vegetable oil. Now you might be wondering why we didn't add anything into our vegetable oil. Well, our vegetable oil doesn't actually mix well with food coloring, so we can't add any colors to it. But since it's kind of a yellowish color, it works out okay. And you can see how it's separated from the water. And then lastly, we have our rubbing alcohol. As you saw right there, so our rubbing alcohol went down into some of the layers. But this is why you want it to be 91% because it's able to separate out. So you can still see all of our layers now. So in order, we got our rubbing alcohol at the top, got our vegetable oil, our water, dish soap, and our corn syrup. And that's how you make a rainbow in a jar. All right, now if you wanna do some extra experimentation with this, what you can do is you can make another cup of green water and you can pour it in and see what happens. So what's cool is that you watch to go through some of the layers, but then it settles with the rest of the water. Of course, you can do the same thing with the vegetable oil. dish soap and you can kind of keep doing that till your jar gets bigger but it's really neat that way you can see how density is working in the jar and that's how you make a rainbow in a jar now if you do this experiment if you want to go ahead and DM our Facebook page your pictures, that way maybe we can share them for a next STEM Wednesday. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.